Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning honorable judges Good morning everyone Nice to meet you all my lovely viewers My name is Muhammad Pasha Manapa And I come from Junior High School 1 Namun tapak, bantul Today, I'm going to show you One of the most famous tourism objects in Yogyakarta that is Parang Tritis Beach. The beach is located about 27 kilometers away from the main city of Yogyakarta. The best time to visit the Parang Tritis Beach is in the afternoon around 2 p.m. until 5.30 p.m. because the weather is not too hot and you can enjoy the majestic sunset. The ticket to enter the Parang Tritis Beach is only 10,000 rupees for each person and 5,000 rupees for each child. There are a lot of parking areas around the beach for motorcycles, cars, and big buses. There are many kinds of things that you can do in the Parang Tritis Beach, such as swimming, taking photos, renting an ATV, riding a horse, or flying fox. But when we swim in the bottom of this beach, I have to remind all of us to keep obey our safety. We must listen to the lifeguard that is responsible for the beach, because the waves in the bottom of this beach is sometimes on a high level. I think the beach is so beautiful because the sand is grey and soft and it is great for making sand castles. And that is why Barang this Beach is one of the most famous tourism objects that is in Yogyakarta. Don't worry if you don't bring any lunch, there are many food courts around the beach that sell many kinds of food such as fresh young coconut, noodles and seafood. There are many souvenir sellers too, such as shirt, pants made with batik, hat, and jewelry that are made from shells. If you go with your family or you want to stay near the bottom of this beach longer, you can rent a hostel room that are around the beach. During the pandemic, many tourism objects have been getting many difficulties such as the decreased amount of tourists until 60% compared to the normal condition. And that is why, as local tourists, we have to support them by visiting tourism objects that are around us. And of course, with a healthy protocol, such as wearing a mask, wash your hands with soap under flowing water, and keep a physical distancing with anyone at least one and a half meters wherever you are. I think that's all for me. Keep safe and healthy everyone. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.